Tonight, we're honored to have back on Rocky Top VFL's Cam Sutton and Josh Stubbs. Let's hear it for VFL's Cameron Sutton and Joshua Dobbs. How does it feel to be back in Knoxville visiting as a now NFL quarterback <laughs> on your bye week? It, feel, it feels weird coming back, you know, where you're an alumni, you're not a student on campus, and you're driving around campus, you're seeing like your friends and other players, teammates and everything, but you're an alumni and everything. So it's a surreal feeling because it feels good to come back with where you are at in life, but it's always great to come back. It feels like home. You know, when you get back, you get in the airport, you get in the area, get back on campus. Definitely feels like you're back at home. Dobbs drops back, looks, loads up, fires long for the end zone. The pass is going to be caught oh, by Tennessee. Tennessee wins! Caught is by Tennessee. He's going to leave here as one of the most beloved players in Tennessee history. He's a ton of talent. Uh, just a, an outstanding young man, team player. When did it sink in that you are now a VFL? <laughs> I don't think it's sunk in yet. <laughs> It'll probably hit me tomorrow at the game uh, when you're at Neyland Stadium for a game and you're not actually sitting up and playing. And you're, you're on the sideline watching. That'll, that'll, that'll be probably when it hits me. What has stood out over the last six months for you? What's been the best part? Because I'm sure it's been a whirlwind from the draft to competing in the preseason mm -hmm. to being in season in the NFL. The best is just finally, you know, getting settled, you know, in your city get a chance to you know, dive into the playbook, dive into the team, get a chance to learn and meet all the guys across the team. You know, when you go through the whole pre-draft process, it feels like the most <laughs> stressful part of your life because you have no idea where in the country you'll be, what team you'll be playing for. So finally get settled in your apartment up in Pittsburgh. Of course, you have Cam up there, and we have four other BFLs as well up there. Um, so to see familiar faces, but also get a chance to be around a great organization is definitely a great feeling. I'm really enjoying Pittsburgh. Gonna keep it going around the right side. Bursting again to the 30. There goes Dobbs to the 20. Dobbs down the sideline, into the checkerboards. Touchdown, 45 yards for Josh Dobbs. Have a day, Josh. How did Tennessee help you prepare for the NFL? Well, on the field, I mean, when you play in the SEC, you play at a place like Tennessee, and you're playing against the best week in and week out. Having that mindset prepares you for NFL, where the play on this platform is huge. I think also, you know, what comes with being a quarterback at Tennessee is very similar to being a quarterback, you know, of a big organization like the Steelers, where, you know, you're known, you know, I'm not even playing, and I'm known around the city. So, um, you're known, your face is known, so you have to be smart in your decision making. Um, but it also gives you a platform to get back to the community and impact lives around you. First down at the 15. Hand off tailback. Kamara up the middle to the five. Kamara fighting for the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. How has it been to see your former teammates that are now in the NFL just having a great <laughs> year? I know. It's, it's unreal. I was texting uh, Brett last weekend. I said, um, no, it, it, I'm almost jealous of them because everyone's balling. Yeah, Malone had his first touchdown. Alvin's having a great year. Um, just Derek's balling, making plays week in and week out. So everyone's playing well. I watched Jalen play last game because we played him. So it's been really cool to you know see my teammates living out their dreams, playing extremely well. So I'll be excited to get on the field. I'm itching, so um, my day will come soon. And a standing ovation for Josh Dobbs. What a way to go out on senior day, his final game at Neyland Stadium. What are you going to remember most about this place, uh, whether it's a certain play, a certain game, or just the feel of Tennessee? It's really just a feel, you know, the feel every time you walk in the Neyland Stadium, you're playing, um, just how much of an honor it is. You know, there's really no other stadium like Neyland. You get to the NFL and the stadiums, the atmosphere is completely different. You know, you don't have the bands, you don't have the cheers. So um, it, it's definitely different. So. Just the honor was to you know play in Neyland, never taking a snap for granted. Um, you look across the game, you know you can't take a play for granted because you never know what's going to happen. So you have to play every play to your hardest. And so just learning that here and being a chance to be a part of this program, I'll definitely take that forever.